If you ever looked at Blossom and Root Science and wondered, okay, what level should I go with? I'm trying to teach a family style. I wanna just do one level for all my kids. Or I have a child that is advanced, but on the younger side, what level could with my particular kiddo? Um, what should I pick? Do I have to go in have order? Snack. Can I grab a drink, my friends? We're gonna go over from level zero to level five science in one video. Until you look at me and see that I'm the type of girl you're not really that used to. Welcome back friends, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Arlene with Arlene and Company. Some of you know, some of you don't. I am also the community support director for Blossom and Root. So a lot of your questions, a lot of the how to's, the how's, the why's and all that stuff, I'm your girl, all right? So I do have a series in a page guide over on Instagram throughout the years that I have you know, built up with several videos and walkthroughs and overviews and answer a lot of your frequently asked questions um, via those videos. But now that I have um, made this platform over here on YouTube and it's a little bit easier to share and stuff, I am starting this new series here, which I'm calling Blossom and Root 101. I'm starting with this, with the science. Know that you can purchase a science individually for level zero, um, zero and up. Um, so if you're not interested in the full grade bundle, you do not need the language arts or anything like that, or you're just trying to dip your toes into Blossom and Root, you can purchase the science by itself or you can purchase it with science and nature bundle. Um, together, there's different configurations that you can see and you will be able to see in the store. Level zero basically is a standalone. I decided to include it because a lot of folks have questions between should I order level zero or level one for my five, six year old or however you're looking at it and you're trying to decide between the two. I hope that this comparison will give you an idea um, and better tools to know which levels to choose. Now level one through five um, can be interchangeable with some exceptions, okay? So level one through five can be used for ages six to 12 and even beyond that. We have a lot of members that use um, like level four or five uh, for middle schoolers and they adjust up of whatever they need to do. Now, that being said, level four and five is a step up. It has a higher level of complexity than level one, two, three. So although you can use a family style, however you like for your, um, other kiddos and go ahead and have um, teach even to your younger the level four and five. Know that the level of complexity due to the content is more uh, robust and some of the concepts may be over a younger student's head. So keep that in mind if you have a big gap of kiddos in your age and you're trying to decide on only one year of science to do, that level four and five are a higher level of complexity, although the levels can be interchangeable. So let's go ahead and start with level zero. I'm gonna show you the parent guides. I'm gonna show you um, the lab guides. I'm gonna show you the student pages. I'm gonna show you everything you need to um, see from each level um, so you have a better idea. Know also that these samples are available on the Blossom and Root website, okay? I'll know that my printer was running out of ink. <laughs> One of the things that I'm asked often is, um, do you need to print a student um, notebook? Do you need to um, use that or can I use a separate notebook? Whatever works um, for, for you. us personally, we use in the lower grades, we use a main lesson book, which is a Waldorf type of open um, book. And um, if you have questions of where I source that, you can let me know in the comments um, down below. And then also in the upper grades, we've used a couple of different brands, but one of the ones that we have been most consistent for the last couple of years is the science notebooks from Parent Guide. You can honestly use this digitally. You do not need to print it, but if you're someone that needs the to take notes. guide can be used digitally. And there is a separate file that you will see that it says science clickable links. Okay, that separate file, because on your parent guide, those links are not clickable. They are indicated when and what lesson they're gonna do it, but also there is a separate PDF file, which those links are actually clickable and are divided per lesson. And have an introduction section. This is going to be true no matter if you have, you know, you start from the very bottom to the higher levels. You're going to have an introduction section that is going to explain the breakdown of this uh, curricula, how to schedule it, or ideas of how to schedule it, what each section means, what is expected, um, or where the flexibility lies, which there is a lot of. It's going to break everything down. 36 weeks for a full school year. If you school year round like we do, you can break those up or make it like, you know, expand a little longer or however you'd like to do. I'm gonna show you the flexibilities with each level. 
traditional schedule, relax or condense, have some additional math and science integrated. Does this mean you do not need a math program um, for level K? No, does not. that's not what that means. Now, if you're somebody that schools are more relaxed way and likes to introduce things more in a non-schoolish type of vibe, maybe that's something different that you would do. But we still do recommend if you are looking for a structured math curricula that you actually add that in. This does not include a structured math curricula, just an integrated approach of where that relationship meets with science in mathematics. So level zero is going to cover health and wellness, basic human anatomy, nutrition and um, fitness, living and non-living things in that level zero kinder type of level. Okay. Remember the other levels are interchangeable. This is very specific for the younger um, crowd. Um, requirements of life, the sun and its effects on living things, earth and how it supposed, um, supports life, the phases of our moon, atmosphere, gravity, the planets of our solar system, space exploration, asteroid comics, etc. Counting up to 20 and down to 10 to 1, the concepts of greater, fewer, and more, and less. Positional terms. These are the math concepts that you're going to see here. Sequencing, patterns, quantities, and numerals, measurements, number lines, basic shapes, calendars, dates, addition, and subtraction, charts, graph pairs, and more. Again, this is not meant to look like a structured math program. So if that's what you're looking for, you will need to add that. Some recommendations of some popular options. Um, one of being Right Start Math, Singapore Math, can, um, can, um, Kindergarten Math with Confidence, or Moal Math. Depending on your style of what your child is needing, those are some of the recommendations. And we can chat about that as well in a separate time. How to use this curricula. This guide will break this um, part down for you. Each unit, you would choose from one or multiple suggested resources sources introducing the topic to inspire curiosity. Level zero is quite different than levels one through five. Okay, the way that is structured, your mission and things like that is quite different. So um, one of the biggest difference in people see or shocks is when they go from level zero to level one, they're like, wait, what happened? And they expect it to have the same structure. It does not, okay? So if you've done, done the early years, everything is integrated. That's why this is not included. Level here. one is going to look quite different. All right, you have the captain's log. Now the captain's log is where you have those student pages. So that's gonna look different again from the other levels. So here we go with some of the differences. You're gonna have the purpose of what the captain log is, how to use the captain log. And note that in this edition, it's a little bit different than the first edition. It does not include a log page for every day of the year. So if you just sent it to a printer, it's gonna have just that select log at the end. Uh, at the end. So you want to indicate how many pages you want, depending on how often you're doing science, or, um, because that varies depending on each person and their family dynamics. Um, so you can opt how many sheets you need on that. So it's not going to include one for every day of the week. Um, so you don't spend money that you don't need um, printing something if you send it out um, and it's a bunch of pages and you're no, you don't need that many. Um, so if you need less or you're printing from home, great. You just decide how many you're going to print. And you'll see that at the end. Um, here again, we're talking about going permission to go here off Here is grid. the content, um, the table of contents. Again, if you want to see um, the scope and sequence for the entire level, that is also located on, on the website. You would select the level that you're looking for on the left-hand bar. You would go ahead and click that and you will see the introduction and stuff on the top of the page. And then you will see the samples that follow. Now, some levels are still, as of the time of this video, including the older version and the newer version. One of the frequent questions we get, and this is um, pertinent to this level, is which one do I print, which one do I use? that's your choice. Okay. So you will, with your purchase at the current time of this video, that's not going to be always, it's going to retire. The old version is going to retire from the system and it's not going to be there for newer purchase. But at this time you will see the old version and the new version. Obviously the new version has been updated uh, for X, Y, and Z reasons and added some new resources, changed some broken links. This was rewritten in, in several different ways as well. So take a look at that and then decide which version you want to do um most people choose the newer version and go missions the supplies mother earth collecting specimens designing spacecraft staying alive this is very like kind of playful type of science um learning with very hands-on type of approach know that um for astronomy or um space science 
That is covered in level five with a higher level of complexity, obviously. Um, building the spacecraft, preparing for life at zero gravity, um, charting a course, preparing countdown, blasting off atmospheres, the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, the International Space um, Station, our moon, uh, Mars, rovers, asteroid belts, Jupiter, the Hubble, Saturn, black holes, and comets. Um, Uranus, a world of extremes. Neptune, dark um, planets, galaxies, staying healthy in space. The mystery of the planet, target found. Tea with a friend and restocking the ship. The magic button and home. There's no at required life. books for this level's um, level um, of curricula for the science, but you can com you technically can complete it with just doing the focus points in the uh, projects and things like that. But these are the books that are highly Here, recommended. It will say most weeks, several, um, and go from there. So then you can decide, can I borrow it if I want to use it or can, um, should I buy it? Whatever it may be. That is also indicated. You'll see how this varies in the higher levels. You're going to have the highly recommended and then the optional sup um, supplemental books, the optional supplemental books in the higher levels as well. Um, that you will see at the breakdown for like books, baskets, folks and all that jazz those are proprietary you will not see those um, listed in the samples or on this video that is something that you'll be able to view um, once you make the purchase the supplemental My list um, that is covers for the entire um, school year um, and by week so you can prep ahead of time is that's your jam or if you just like to live dangerously <laughs> all right so week one um, in the, here's a big difference. In level zero, they are still calling it by weeks um, in the science program. Know that in um, level one and up, if they're called wonders. Wonders equals weeks, okay? That does not mean that you can't spend longer or shorter just because it says week one, all right? So just adjust it however you feel fit. So these are letters from the mission control. It get, um, gives you the mission. You read this out loud to your child or if your child likes to, um, you know, is at the level that's able to read this on their own, that's up to you, however you like to do it. But this is something meant for you to read out loud to your child, introduce them the mission, and then they're going to have one of these letters for mission control every week or every lesson. Let's put it that way. All right, so this is gonna kick them off. And I'll, I'll just read you real quick. It says, greeting Earth friends. My name is Ola and I live on planet L21. I'm doing school project on your solar system and need some help. Can you help me with my project? We send the message back saying that you could be glad to help and here's what the response we got. Hooray, I will send instructions over the next few weeks. There is a catch though. I will need you to deliver some of the things to me. The journey is long and difficult. Do you think you'll be willing to go to an exciting adventure? So there's like one big project where you build a spaceship, you know, like, cardboard or whatever not so this is something that especially all uh, the younger kiddos are really really love the level zero so if you're trying to decide between level zero or level one and your kiddo is still young and something and they would appreciate that play-based type of science and um you know all like most more hands-on and less like writing and such even though every level has multiple options and a lot of hands-on um then i if your kiddo's young and still would appreciate this kind of thing I wouldn't I would not necessarily skip level zero unless you really want your younger kiddo to be a tag along or this is one of the levels that if you're doing another level of science let's say three that you can easily add in level zero for your younger kiddos if um, you're trying to teach more than one level at a time level zero is something that's manageable to do i wouldn't necessarily recommend doing uh two levels of the higher levels of science at the same time that would probably be very overwhelming um so just giving you that a heads up all right so here's a week you will see the week um set up here's um focus on introducing your child to this curriculum what an astronaut does here is just gonna have on the top of your week what you're gonna be focusing on for that lesson, right? Or that week's lesson. And the captain's log is gonna tell you what you're gonna do, record the date, complete an entry. This week's entry is fairly open-ended and it's just gonna give you instructions of what to do and what to, where to go next. Um, you know, optional lesson um, enhancements to support. Here's some optional pages. And here's gonna indicate with the highly recommended books, the actual pages that will pertain to that week's lesson. So here's gonna be directly tied into 
to that. Um, let's look again really quick at the other elements of level zero. An example of a captain's log of how you would fill it out, how to use a calendar portion. And here you would have that open space for the mission um, of whatever they're going to be documenting. Maybe they're just doing an illustration or whatever, not it's open ended for you. Here is the astronaut profile for week one. Um, so you can take a look at what that looks like. And then next one is going to look like week two captain's log. What will I bring to my trip to space and so on. So that is the captain's log. Okay. Year one is going to cover, um, geology, weather, and seasons. Um, just oversimplifying what it's going to cover. Um, and it's called wonders of earth and sky. This is the laboratory guy that I, um, have printed and I think... I already recycled, um, cause this is like eons ago for me. Um, I already recycled that, uh, the rest of the part, but I am going to be showing you, um, via the screencast and talking you through the other elements. You're going to have a parent guide. You're going to have a laboratory guide. Let me show you real quick. Level one, the book seats that are included, these are STEM units. So the book seats is something I will stay for another video. There is, if you go into my page guide on Instagram, I go over in detail what a book seat entails and how it, um, it's broken down. For level one, these are the current book seats that are included. There will be six of them. The book who harness, um, the boy who harnessed the wind, um, and that is part of the profiles, one plastic bag, then Marianne, uh, then you have Charles Darwin solving the puzzle under the sea. This is based out of one um, typically a picture book and then they build up a whole entire STEM unit out of it. Um, young water protectors and that is clickable right links there. here. I'm not going to um, open this file because obviously it's going to show you everything from every single week. But this is the clickable link that you can go ahead and save in your notes or whatever or not and just go ahead and cover the wonders of earth and sky. Um, and like I said before, it covers geology, weather and seasons. Yeah. Um, introduction section again highly highly recommend please do not look at one of the wonders without reading the introduction section first especially if you're new to blossom and root um and even if um, you're so not. welcome to the year of wonder the optional schedules the traditional schedules how to um break that down into 36 weeks and how you would go about that and um you know just giving you some suggestions and guidance the relaxed schedule the scheduling for seasonal relevance this means that you can move the wonders around so if something makes more sense for your biome um, in a particular season, go ahead and move it around. It is okay. So that's why it's not stated like week one, do this week two, you have to do that. Um, or anything like that. And you can go ahead and zoom this in, by the way, if you're just viewing it, it right? So you have step one, the wonder, each unit begins with an introduction of wonder at hand, whether that is indigenous rocks, earthquakes, or summer solstice, whatever. Your child will delve into the topic, engaging literature, short videos, and, um, and guided conversations. So that is the step one. Step two is explore. The next step topic is the hands-on activity, the project, the demonstration, what a lab, whatever it may be. Step three is record. So what, whichever way you are choosing to record, and I'm going to show you what that means in a little bit, that's how to do it. And then permission to go off grid is something that she talks about at every single level and every single subject. All right, so the main goal, you do the step one, which is the wonder, for each unit you choose one or multiple categories to introduce a topic or inspire curiosity so you're gonna um and i'll tell you i am guilty of doing several <laughs> you don't have to do everything you can choose one path and stick with that you can change your path from week to week and do that um depending on the topic maybe you want to delve really deep one week and maybe the topic is not of great interest to you or you are short on time you can choose the minimalist route all right so options for step one uh, we focus on providing multiple options for you to choose from unit by unit. So for the minimalist track, you are given like, you know, uh, uh, the category to introduce with the big pictures and um, you're giving a certain page number from the suggested spine. Um, and then you can go from there. Then category two would be book baskets, folks. So if you are someone in that does uh, like a morning basket or something, add like that. additional books that you would source from your library, however you like. And this is going to be specific for that week. Category three, three is for the visual learner. So this is where you'll do the suggested video links, um, YouTubes, and this all these different two. Here is where you have the hands-on approach. So again, you can do more than one, and you can do just one. Um, and here is where the rest of the curricula will focus on. So you can do the outdoor learners. So if you are like a wild schooler or you whatever, know, maybe, maybe I'm not that big on outdoors, or that's not my thing, or the weather is just too this or that. 
That's totally fine. You don't have to choose an outdoor learning option. There is the table lab crowd option uh, where you're doing like science type of, you know, obviously experiments indoors mostly. Um, then there's a craft and projects family. So maybe you are very into like handicrafts and things like that. This is where that those um, those projects and things would come in. You can mix and match. You can choose your own adventure and do however you like. All right. So then you have your next section. Um, you have your step three, which is this is where you're going to record. So you can opt for oral narration, written narration, or scrapbooking with a student notebook. Now, obviously, choose the experience that it makes more sense for your child. This is, again, is, you know, permission to go off grid and follow rabbit trails, you know, change things up however you like to do. Now you have a coordinating nature study. All right. So with the exception of the standalone nature study, year one, Wonders of the Earth and Sky, the science and nature study program for year one are meant to be done together. That doesn't mean you have to, but they're meant, they're structured that way to be meant to do together. So the content um, of this year, you have Wonder One. We're going to start from Born from Stardust, Layers of the Earth, Ever Moving Plates, Mountains and Rifts, Earthquakes, Volcanoes, Crystals and Minerals, Genesis Rocks, Metamorphic Rock. Here so, you're going to have uh, the book list. Um, it's going to explain that you're going to have the supply list and everything like that. It's going to be under your lab guide. That's uh, the separate. After lab. that, it's proprietary information that I cannot show you. That is the optional book list that goes over pages and pages and pages of optional books that you can add. Again, if you love your library, you're going to be good. <laughs> okay. All right. So here you have the welcome section in this unit your child will learn and go um that introduction here and the suggestions of the selected pages when you go in the minimalist track here is where it's going to show you what page number you're going to be reading from that selected spine all right so if you're doing that and you're choosing this um, to use the spine it's going to be on there but here you're going to go into your big picture messages all right this is what your main focus of the lesson is going to be so here's only two big picture lessons pay attention to this because you're going to see from level to level how these big picture messages changes in complexity and length and how many of them um, get combined and added in each and every level um, but remember you're the master of this curriculum so change it as you need all right, so you have the minimalist track on here. You're going to say, look at page 10 and 15 of the uh, Smithsonian Super Earth. Talk about the formation of early Earth and go on there. And then you're going to go ahead and read that page and, and go over with your um, your kiddo. And then if you were doing a minimalist track, you would jump from doing that. And let's say you're not doing anything else. You're not even doing the visual learner part. Then you can jump and do the laboratory guide, decide which track you want to day. Oh, okay, today I want to do outdoor learner. That feels right. Or table lab or craft and then you pick one of these or more and then you go to your student notebook where the record so you see how that works you pick one from step one pick another from the labs and then you end with your record and then your record you choose are you going to do oral narration or are you going to do a written narration or are you going to do a scrapbook type of thing on here sometime before i show you the student pages I want you to notice here that says alternative spine suggestions for level one science. This is again where something will be added to your Gumroad file. You will get an email notification or a notification from Gumroad if you have it turned on. Um, and this is one of the spine had become um, difficult to source. It became, I think it, it was a DK book. So on here is going to have a schedule with an alternative spine in viewer and unable to um, sort that. And it's going to have a schedule for all the weeks in the pages number to contain it. Book belongs to um, and go from there if you need more pages. And notice the difference from level to level. So this is a level one, very open ended of what you can um, document. A lot of the questions are like, what do I tell them to do? Um, whether you can want them to focus on the big picture um, from like the big picture list of, of that we discuss uh, the key points or, or you want them to just maybe um, illustrate or orally narrate to you most important part they felt um, correlate with the labs and it's going to look a bit like this so um, for wonder one born from stardust it's going to be divided depending on what kind of track you're going to take so for outdoor learners. Now, every category is not gonna be like the same vibe every single time. Um, and you may have more than one option. Like for here, you have up, um, two outdoor learners thing. This does not mean that you have to do absolutely everything, okay? 
you can pick and choose, like pick one, pick two, however fits your kiddos. Some people like, you know, like to add as much as possible and some just like to keep it very minimalistic, as you saw in the minimalist track. Now we have year two or level two, it's now called level two, that is exploring plant and fungus. Just so you can see the difference, you just saw not too long ago, the pseudonova for level one. Again, you have like a cover on here, and then you have the same open-ended type of layout, okay? So let's just gonna um, get that out of the way. seats are included um, in this year, all right? And these book seats, can be done intermittently, like a break somewhere, however you like to do it. Again, I can dedicate a video to book seats if you like. I have done, I think it was level two actually that I showed um, a couple of book seats from level two or maybe a, a, a variation of them. All right, so the, bo the boy grew a forest, um, the tree lady in the garden with Dr. Carver, uh, Wangari's tree of peace. I am a farmer and then Gregor Mendes's yeah. Wonders of Plant and Fungi Kingdom. Um, and that is what year two is all about. I'm not gonna go over the introduction again because, you know, that's silly. Um, here is the content, so living sunlight, plant anatomy needs, the first plants, spores, yeah. roots, and stems. You are covering quite a bit of plants. Now, this is the perfect time. Maybe you can't see doing plants after plants after plants, plants all year long. Or maybe you're really great, like love plants um, and you can't. But if you want to take the book seeds to break up, you know, with like a stem pause and um, do a stem unit, obviously they're going to be, you know, like the tree lady and things like that. It's going to be somewhat related, but then it brings another element to it. Um, you can do that to help break things up. Okay. Um, obviously I'm, um, Try not to read every single one, but grasses, rush, uh, rushes, the plants, plants are handy, plants are homes, plants can heal, uh, amazing adaption and power partnership, plant and fungi um, sciences. Again, these are broken up into 36 weeks and you go from there. You have the book list, the required um, book list. Um, there is technically no required book list, so it's highly recommended books and what weeks they are suggested. You're gonna see in. those those buildups throughout the year as well. You know, starts basic, go moves down from there. Again, the same structure, minimalist, book basket folk, the visual learner, the lab. So you have steps one, two, and three. You choose your own adventure. I'm gonna show you that there's a separate file with these, okay? So um, nice, high quality, um, prints that you can hey guys similar to how you saw before um, you have the wonders contents that is laid out for you is going to correlate with your wonders and your weeks and your parent guide so obviously they're connected um, and it's going to have that same structure so you have outdoor learners um, here's what you'll need what to do then the table crap um, table lab crowd what you'll need what to do we have year three or level three. Remember, um, uh, it used to be called by years and now we are referred them to levels. It looks like, like I said, my um, toner said it was low on ink and it has said that probably like for four months, but I guess it really means it now. <laughs> uh, and it really is low on ink. All right, so again, these levels can be interchangeable. I would recommend levels one to three for um, grades like she has indicated one through four. Some people actually stretch it beyond that with older kiddos. They just ha add uh, the other level of complexity, maybe with research or writing assignments and things See like that. that. The higher levels will actually say um, for grades one to six, um, and you can change them out however. See again, the um, steps, step one, wonders. In this level, this is what's uh, Wonder One, Animal Kingdom Evolution and Extinction, the history of animal life, sponges. I like doing um, the prehistory before the animal kingdom. Uh, that's just me. Obviously, uh, you are gonna cover some of the evolution and extinction part um, at the beginning of the school year, but I like to do the prehistory. Um, how it would be set up again, you're gonna see that familiar setting, Wonder One. Welcome to the um, the wonder, the animal kingdom, and it's gonna introduce uh, the year. The big picture views, okay? So what are you gonna be focused on? Ahead and you pick the track. So again, you still have that um, same look of level one and two. Some weeks know that there's gonna have several big picture views. Um, so this is, again, you The laboratory this. guide um, is going to follow the same structures of the uh, um, lower levels. The table of contents is going to correlate with the wonders. And in here the you will see like some organizing animals challenge. You have those additional things here. Um, something called the wild files. 
for year three. And this is um, exploring ecosystem, okay? Here and you have the prehistoric um, component in, in the complete bundle. So this is the wonders of the prehistoric world. This is separated into 13 um, wonders or weeks. It has the same um, structure as your um, regular science unit with the same um, type of breakdown for the introduction. So I'm not gonna get to spend too much time on it. Um, so it's just the specific stages uh, all the way to your rise of human is the book that is required um to do this curriculum. then you have the completely optional part again that's something that i do not show and you shouldn't either because that's proprietary um but that section there um gives you a whole extension of additional books and then you're going to see the same type of shoes with the different tracks as you can see some weeks will have an immense amount of different videos that you can show your kiddo if you're doing video links and stuff then you have the laboratory guide um this is where this changed this particular unit the laboratory instructions depending on what you're doing is included in the same guide. or some pictures included on here and then you will go ahead into your following week same structures that's your science one you can customize it or you know um write your name on it um and it has some open-ended has a little bit more of a prompt and then um uh, some direction for for that particular links level. for your prehistoric worlds one man, fish and life in the ocean um, birds and buzzing uh, buzzing with questions shark lady uh, Rachel Carlson uh, Joan Proctor the the watcher this is level four this is wonder of the physical world you're going to be exploring physics engineering and human anatomy the physics All part right. and engineering part a lot of folks where I say a good percentage um, we'll spend a whole year in physics and engineering, or maybe not a whole year, but an extended amount of time. And, or they divide it into like physics one week, engineering another week, and then they'll, um, take a full amount of time and then, um, do human anatomy in a slower pace if they want to stretch it out another year, um, or whatever it may be. So know that this level is very easy to stretch out beyond 36 weeks because the amount of content that is covered is it possible to do it as written absolutely okay so don't be afraid if you're like no i i need to finish in 36 weeks absolutely. this is how you would make sure that you would fit that many now for me personally i feel like um if you can do science a little bit more often than two to twice a week i know this is not feasible for a lot of families but it would be even better us personally we do science every day but we are a science heavy home science is my jam um then also you have the um wonders 19 to 36 which can be covered it's once wonder, a week uh, minimalist but basket you already know the game visual learners all right so that has optional that profiles is an extension that you are going to um study on a specific person's contribution to science that is related and connected with the um science and history of that this week is where blossom okay? and root differs okay it's that <sighs> It has a script for you, but it's open-ended enough that you're able to choose your own adventure. All right, so here, again, you're gonna see the division here for the wonder in physics and engineering for each week. So thinking like a physicist, thinking like an engineer, um, matter, simple machines, physics, engi uh, energy, engineering, the simple machines. So you see how it relates to each other and that's why they belong in the same week. Force and engineering simple machines, wheel and axle, um, and the optional profiles. So here for optional pro um, profiles, you're gonna see the listed. Again, you can view the samples. Um, I'm not gonna read each and every single one of them, uh, but it's included there. And then you can add your own profiles um, based on the books that was suggested. And so your skin, hair and nails, your eyes and nose, your ears and sinuses, your mouth and throat, your digestive system, um, your skeletal system, your muscular system, your cardiovascular um, um, and circulatory system, your respiratory system, your urinary system, your immune system. Um, so you're going in through the entire human system, body. the nervous system, the endocrine system, the cells and DNA, your growth and development, your reproductive system, your health and wellness. Um, and then you have a very diverse group of profiles that you're going to be doing um, in different and specialties. Again, it separates on the wonders on
um, which one they're mostly used. Here, the same exact setup. You have the introduction um, to the week's um, lesson. Then it goes into your big picture, which I love. Bas um, basket visual learner and go from there. You choose your laboratory guide you will be prompted to do your first entry and you go from there. Then um, you have your engineering. So you have the physics, then you have the engineering, um, thinking like an engineer, same exact st structure, same amount of flow, um, big pictures again with that, and then the laboratory guy, and then that. Okay, so that is what this portion would look like. And then here you have the optional pro. Here, hmm, what's happened? What is happened, right? <laughs> so here you have the notebook uh, for level four. We just looked at level three. You still had that open-ended kind of look vibe um, for um, level one and two. And things have looked a little different. So you still have that open frame here where you can choose what your kiddo, um, what you want your kiddo to document. Thinking like a physicist, important things to know. Science is the study of. So it has like a, a starter sentence and then you can go ahead in a more narrative form according to whatever the prompt is or what optional prompt they may have given you. Here's a lab worksheet. So for that specific lab, you know, steps on one, observe what kind of observation or data was, uh, would inspire your experiment. Ask or wonder what questions would you ask um, and then you have the engineering component thinking like an engineer engineers are blank solvers and a blank is a working Change model of an idea. Idea. instead of just documenting what you think is important or one specific thing or optional um, it's a little bit more guided more the lab guide to look pretty um, the same as the ones before that really does not change in structure uh, much at this point so it's going to have that same look and divided by the phys um, physics and engineering once you start in human anatomy so here is the basics of the body uh, for the crafts and projects and you have like this full body picture the thing that you can do uh, my kiddos did that and it was uh, a lot of fun all right so let's look at an example of a uh, anatomy one um, so we're right here, anatomy uh, wonder number 22. I just picked a random one. Um, and it's going to have that welcome to your ears and sinuses in this unit. Here's a big picture view. All right, we went from two big pictures to three big pictures, so like four. Now we're like, here's and 10. It has <laughs> the laboratory guide options um, are spelled out here. And then the optional profile. So here is Helen Keller. Yes. Level four includes optional profiles. You will no longer see book seeds okay so we are in the home stretch y'all <laughs> all right so level five again level four and five are those levels that are have the higher level complexity and part two okay so some folks like oh i want to do level five astronomy but i'm not ready to do oceanography so you'll have it for a later day it will include Four both levels. let's say you do an oceanography with younger kiddos just know um that return demonstration or expectations and stuff like that you would have to adjust or maybe keep to the simplest terms and things like that if you have a tag along younger child um for their level so this is going to be a little bit more robust for them um you have the traditional schedule relax again simple way all the same profile so the option extensions here again their contribution to science and the history that is related to have uh the first section uh oceanography has 24 wonders so 24 weeks if you spend one week per wonder or you can stretch it beyond that as you can see, it's already 24 a week. So if you want to stretch oceanography for a full year, you can. If you want to condense it, you're going to have to, you know, do a bit of more work or do more of a minimalist track to do it a little bit quicker. All right, so um, you have a world of water, then just uh, introduction to optional profiles. And then the first profile, just like before, is going to be on week two. So, um, and you go from there. So water, water everywhere. So you're going to start with that introduction uh, to foundational skills that they covered in level one, earth science. Um, play tectonics, the ocean floor, ocean currents, um, atmospheric circulation. Again, here's the optional profiles. And then sometimes you have a rabbit trail suggestion. The book list. Um, technically, again, there's no required so, suggestions i just didn't want really wanted to point out if you have younger kids in tow you have um you might want to consider the following books specifically for them 
They're not reflected in the curricula, but it will help support um, um, the lessons, like, you know, then give them something much more simpler for the big at. picture view. Um, and this one has 13 big picture views. And All right, so you have, again, the different tracks, um, the book suggestions with the page number on uh, the ba book basket, folks, um, to give you additional books that you may want to add. profile. Uh, uh, let me show you the wonders here. Now this section, this wonder um, for astronomy, it has 12 wonders. So 12 weeks if you're spending one week per, um, you're gonna start with into the great advanced beyond. learners. I would like to add a layer of astrophysics to their study or astronomy during the curriculum. So here again, you're seeing that added, like that step up, added things for more advanced for learners, um, optional profile, so early astronomers. This is pretty big profile, right? So you can spend quite a bit of time on it or very little, however you to choose. Look really quick. You're gonna see the clickable links for the oceanography part one. You're gonna see the clickable links for part two. Um, you're going to see um, the lab guide. Here's the astronomy lab guide, just to give you an idea um, of what you are looking at. And again, it's the weeks are going to correlate, obviously. Oceanography notebook uh, for level five. Again, this is a stage where my kiddos, um, I think we only did the included notebook in level one, maybe. And then we switched to main lesson book, and then we switched to the school nest notebooks after that. Um, so here you have the lab. So here you have additional information. So you wanna make sure when you're looking at the lab guide that you're also looking at your lab notebook um, at the same time and seeing everything that's together. So lab for wonder one, oceanography, hype to start your year. And here, for example, um, this is just like the lab worksheet part, right? So lab wonder, review the scientific method of the text being directed to them. Um, even if they're, you're right there with them, whichever may it be. So step one, observation. Um, step two, um, ask questions. Step three, and so on. You have that added component um, in these levels, in these higher scavenger levels. Scavenger hunts in the best um, separate file. Um, so that if your kid is still into that, you can definitely still do that. Here, um, we did the astronomy um, parent guides. And here's the lab guide for um, astronomy. Same, same jam. So it's um, going to model the other one, uh, but obviously be specific for that one. I like how you have like the cool like um, cover. So if you get it like laminated and stuff, you you love your laminated machine, Oops. it's going to look cool. And then that open-ended uh, space for documentation. So um, you have like, you know, the uh, instructions um, on how to do a certain wonder plus the lab worksheet. All these are going to be connected with, like, you know, your notebook. So you're going to need them by, side by side, right? You're going to need the lab guide and your notebook that has everything together. Think of it as one is the teacher text and this is the Thank you so much text. for your time. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. a dreamer on the road. No map, just all those stars.